has done something that I've never seen him do before. Catch is understood. No, no, it's just in a grip. Yeah. So he's, he's been on full log, and it, and it, I know, I know that. Well done, Max. It was an incredibly exciting and unpredictable session. How difficult was it to navigate and to come out on top? Um, yeah, I think uh, mainly in Q1. I mean, I, I arrived to turn 15 the first time. I just went straight off. So I had no... I couldn't see... It, it was very weird because turn 15 and 16, they were a bit damp, and it was very difficult to see where exactly. <clears throat> you could only really feel it. Uh, so that took a bit of time to really get on top of. Uh, but yeah, I think in uh, in general, yeah, it was just trying to get the laps in. Of course, we, we knew that we had a quick car, so you don't risk it all the way uh, to, to get through. But still, that final lap, um, of course, I had my little uh, incident uh, in the in the, in the the pits where, where I destroyed my front wing. <laughs> yeah, I had a bit of understeer out of the box. Too much rear grip. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, I had to take a new front wing, but that meant, of course, that I was in the back uh, to start that final run, and um, it was quite exciting. I think that outlap with passing a few cars here and there to get the lap in, uh, but luckily it was all good enough, but that shows that, you know, it can also very quickly go, you know, fall the other way and you're out. Um, and then, yeah, Q2 was just building up, track was getting better and better, so following the, um, the track evolution, and then in Q3, basically the same thing. And, yeah, I think... Um, the lap itself was all right. Just um, probably in some places I got caught out a, a little bit with uh, suddenly like an increase in understeer and stuff. But I guess, you know, with the conditions we had, it was uh, anyway going to be um, quite tricky, you know, to have, a, let's say, a perfect lap out there.